Good morning, folks. I trust you well. As we face the morning of February the 10th, uh, we're looking at a short passage of Scripture, part of a verse in Philippians 4 and verse 12. The letter of Philippians, or to the Philippians, uh, chapter 4 and verse 12. I know how to abound. I wonder what Spurgeon makes of what Paul had to say there. There are many who know how to be abased, who have not learned how to abound. When they are set upon the top of the pinnacle, their heads grow dizzy, and they are ready to fall. The Christian far oftener disgraces his profession in prosperity than in adversity. It is a dangerous thing to be prosperous. The crucible of adversity is a less severe trial to the Christian than the refining pot of pr prosperity. Oh, what leanness of soul and neglect of spiritual things have been brought on through the very mercies and bounties of God. Yet this is not a matter of necessity, for the Apostle tells us that he knew how to abound. When he had much, he knew how to use it. Abundant grace enabled him to bear abundant prosperity. When he had a full sail, he was loaded with much ballast, and so floated safely. He needs more than human skill to carry the brimming cup of mortal joy with a steady hand. Yet Paul had learned that skill, for he declares, in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry. It is a divine lesson to know how to be full. For the Israelites were full once, but while the flesh was yet in their mouth, the wrath of God came upon them. Many have asked for mercies that they might uh, satisfy their own hearts. Lust, fullness of bread, has often made fullness of blood, and that has brought on wantonness of spirit. When we have much of God's providential mercies, it often happens that we have but little of God's grace and little gratitude for the bounties we have received. We are full and we forget God, satisfied with earth and we are content to do without heaven. Rest assured, it is harder to know how to be full than it is to know how to be hungry. So desperate is the tendency of the human nature to pride and forgetfulness of God. Take care that you ask in your prayers that God would teach you how to be full. They are not the gifts thy love bestows, estrange our hearts from thee. Some uh, prosperous words for us to think upon this morning, and I hope that will do us good throughout the day. But until the next time, God bless. Take care, and bye for now.